Good morning, Downtown Academy. Welcome to our second ever remote chapel. It's great to be with you again. Again, we don't think that these videos are ever going to fill the hole in our hearts that in-person chapel leaves, but we know that God is still worthy of our worship and still delights in our worship, so we're trying our best. Just like any time we meet for chapel, we'll be worshiping in three specific ways. Singing God's praises, praying to Him, and learning about Him through His Word, the Bible. Let's start in prayer. God, in spaces like our weekly chapel, you remind us that Jesus is alive, and because of Him, we get to be a part of your forever family. Please let the way that we worship together now remind us to worship you in everything we do, through the power of the Holy Spirit, who reigns with you and our King Jesus forever as one God. Amen. Let's sing together. Let's sing every move I make. Every move I make, I'm making you. You make me move, Jesus. Every breath I take, I breathe in you. Every step I take, I take in you. You on my way, Jesus. Every breath I take, I breathe in you. Waves of mercy, waves of grace. comes from Proverbs chapter 16, verse 24, which says, Gracious words are like a honeycomb, sweetness to the soul, and health to the body. We'll talk more about that verse later, but for now, let's continue to sing. Sing, I know my God is good. I know God, my God, God is good. Oh, God. My God, God is good. You know that He brought me out of darkness. God is good. He saved my soul. You know He saved my soul. God is good. Oh, He saved my soul. God is good. Oh, He saved my soul. God's my every footstep. God is good. Oh, He guides my every footstep. God is good. Oh, He guides my every footstep. And He saved my soul. And He brought me out of darkness. God is good. He put food on my table. Oh, He put food on my table. God is good. He put food on my table. God is good. Oh, he put food on my table. And he guides my every footstep. And he saved my soul. And he brought me out of darkness. God is good. He heals my 
focus on gentleness by covering encouragement and affirmation. And to do that, we'll take another look at that verse from Proverbs. Let's read it again. Gracious words are like a honeycomb, sweetness to the soul and health to the body. Now, maybe you're like me. I've eaten honey before, but never a honeycomb. Either way, I might say the same thing that Proverbs is saying a little bit more like this. When we use our words to be encouraging and affirming, especially without expecting anything in return, it's like we're giving away a free meal that's delicious and healthy at the same time. You might already know what encouraging and affirming mean, but just in case, let's say that we're being encouraging when we say things like, you can do it, and we're being affirming when we say things like, you are good. There are tons of ways to say encouraging and affirming things. We might encourage somebody to keep trying, for example, like when they're doing something difficult like a tricky math problem. Or we might encourage somebody to be courageous when they're in a scary situation, like when you have to get a shot at the doctor. We can be affirming by telling a musician that we like their song, by telling somebody their shoes look cool, or just by saying, it's nice to see you. The tricky part about encouragement and affirmation is that while everyone likes to receive encouraging and affirming words, many of us have trouble remembering to give them away. Weirdly enough, that's where comparing encouragement and affirmation to food can actually be really helpful. I mean, think about it. Some of the foods that we eat are delicious, but not very good for us, like french fries, even though I love them. Other foods are foods that we know are good for us, but they're not that fun to eat. This means that if we find a food that's delicious and healthy, it's a big moment. Now, finding a food that you enjoy eating, but that's also good for your body, has a lot to do with people's tastes and what their body needs. So different people might use different foods to do that job. That's actually part of what makes encouragement and affirmation so awesome. There's no such thing as a magical food that everybody likes and that's healthy for everyone, but encouragement and affirmation are meant to be shared with everybody. Plus, when we encourage and affirm others, it helps us become encouraged and affirmed at the same time. That would be like being able to taste the tastiness of a food that we were sharing with someone else. It's crazy, right? Another way gracious words are even better than food is that even though food eventually makes us too full to keep eating, no one has ever received too much encouragement or affirmation. It's important to mention that word gracious too. Grace is a kind of gentleness that is careful and sweet to someone who didn't earn it. Being gracious can be hard because it might not seem fair to do something nice for someone without knowing if they'll be nice in return. Luckily, we have a great example of what grace looks like because of the way that God has been gracious to us. God is the king of everything, and we're just people. So even if we tried with all our might, there's really nothing that we can do to earn God's love or his kindness, mostly because everything belongs to him in the first place. However, 
God gives his love and kindness away graciously to show how much he loves us. And sometimes he uses members of his family to remind others of his grace. When we're gracious to others, we show how much we love them, but we also show how much God loves them. And we can only do that through the power of the Holy Spirit. Again, being gracious with our words is tricky to remember. We need to ask for God's help and trust the Holy Spirit to remind us of the times where encouragement and affirmation can help us show God's love to others. Let's pray. God, help us use our words to be encouraging and affirming, especially without expecting anything in return. Help us to be gracious to others as a way of showing how thankful we are for your graciousness to us. Sing, you give life. all the earth and all the earth will shout your praise our hearts will cry these bones will sing great are you Lord all the earth will shout your praise our Thanks for joining us for Remote Chapel, y'all. We'll see you next time.